Hey, it's Harkert from Play, and welcome to our navigation series. Right now I'm on my page overview in my project, which gives me a list of every page that's in the project I'm currently editing. I can navigate to each page inside here to design it out and add micro interactions. And in almost every case, I'm gonna wanna connect multiple pages together to create a flow. And that's what we're gonna focus on in this navigation series. We're gonna talk about nav bars, tab bars, open page actions, and open sheet actions. We're gonna start with an open page action because that's the most basic way to get from one page to another. So let's go into this start here page and select this button. When we tap the button, we want it to go to a different page. So on the tap trigger, I'm gonna add an open page action. The first thing you'll do is select the page you'd like to navigate to. In this case, we wanna do native navigation. And that's all I have to do. Now I can just tap it and it's gonna navigate me to that page. Now the style I have right now is default. And anything that's opened with default that does not have nav bar in the initial page is going to open kind of like a sheet. So I can pan it back down to close or dismiss that page. I can also change this to full screen. Now, when I tap this, it's going to come up from the bottom again, but now it's gonna fill the whole screen and I can't dismiss it when I try to pan down. The last option is custom. And this will be really similar to what you can do in a tool like Figma. You can choose the animation type, you can choose where it's coming in from, so from the top or the bottom, left and right. And you can adjust the animation settings and the easing curve. And this will come in, as I said, very similar to how it's done in Figma. But now I want to talk a little bit more about how to do native navigation. And for that, we're gonna use default. We're actually gonna go onto a different page to talk more about this. So I'm gonna go into the native navigation page. And on here, I'm gonna select one of these cards. We're gonna add a tap trigger here and an open page action on this one as well. Let's navigate to the details page and we're gonna keep the style default. Now, something to note here is that on this page, you can see we have a native nav bar and on the page we're navigating to, we will also have a native nav bar. So now look what happens when we do default. When I tap this, it's gonna come in from the side and I don't know if you saw that, but the title here on this page is going to go into the nav bar on that page. And now it's part of this back button, which I can tap and it'll take me there. I can also long press and you can see it's gonna give me a native menu of all the pages I've navigated to. So I can select that and go back here. As I pan back in between the pages, you can see that transition from the name being part of the nav bar all the way to the title of the nav bar. All of that is given to you completely for free. All we did was add this and add a nav bar to the page. So it just goes to show you that you can do everything custom in play, or you can tap into the native functionality we provide, give you these things that would be so difficult to try and prototype, and all you have to do is add it with one action. In the next video, we're gonna talk about OpenSheet. So I hope we'll see you there.